Coming up, I'm going to share with you my fragrance review of Chatillon Luxe Admiral. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome guys, I'm John from Lather Hog, and today we'll be doing a fragrance review. Back in August, I picked up Chatillon Luxe's latest release, Admiral. So let's take a look uh, first at the packaging. So what we have is a very simple box, white box here. Um, with a label right in front. So that's the box. And next to the bottle, also very straightforward. All right, so that's the packaging. Now onto the scent. So the scent behind Admiral is inspired by a famous river boat in St. Louis. The official scent notes are lemongrass, verbena, bergamot, aquatic notes, sage, black currant bud, riverboat smoke, tonka bean, and musk. Now at first glance at the notes, I was thinking this was gonna be a fresh, summery, lighter scent. But really, um, on first spray, it's a lot, a lot of smoke. So actually, let me just spray some on my wrist right now. So you can see, for, hopefully you can see from that spray, but um, it's, it's the atomizer is you know, nice and strong. You get a good, good mist um, from even just one spray. Yeah, so again, smoke is up front, and I will admit, um, when I first got it, it was probably like in the 80s, um, and we still had some humid weather in New England, and I was getting kind of choked out by it, and I found it very challenging, and I wasn't sure, you know, how much um, I was really going to enjoy this scent, or if I, if I could make it through um, the, the dry down. But, you know, I'm glad uh, I've been testing it throughout, and as the temperatures have come down, um, now that we're into September, I think this scent really, you know, hits a sweet spot in the fall and probably even the winter because uh, it's got longevity. This probably lasted on me for between six to eight hours, uh, and that's with about three sprays, two in the neck, one in the chest. If you went more, you know, if you're more heavy handed with a sprayer, this could, I don't know, this could last probably eight plus hours. You know, depending on what your feelings on smoke are, you could find the opening of this uh, a little bit challenging, but uh, I do encourage you, you know, if, if you're on the fence on it, I do think um, as long as you're kind of not using this during high heat, uh, you can really appreciate this scent. And, you know, don't worry, because the, the tonka bean, um, it definitely presents itself as the smoke kind of dissipates. And what that's going to provide is some, some sweetness to it. Uh, I know aquatic notes are, are listed here, and it, it being um, the Admiral being kind of a riverboat, um, I, I know that's kind of part of the picture, right, that is trying to be painted, but I can't say I really can perceive it. In general, I'm more sensitive to smoke scents, and it, that might be kind of just overpowering the aquatic notes. So those lighter top notes, you know, the citrus, the floral, it helps complete the picture. It's not just smoke, it's not just this heavy bomb um, of a scent, but it's something really enjoyable. It's something that changes over time. Uh, there's some complexity to it. So then, let me just smell it again. It's a couple minutes have passed. Yeah. So still, still the smoke to me is the is the strongest aspect of Admiral. But it's definitely not just that one note. So I think for me, I, I would recommend this if you're on the fence at all. Give this a try. If a sample size is available, maybe go for that. The funny thing is that uh, given that Chateau Lux is uh, a wet shaving artisan as well, and that's kind of you know what they started as, I went for just the eau de toilette on this release, and I might you know now be kind of chasing down the soap and aftershave after kind of sitting with it and really growing to appreciate the scent. So, in what situations would I wear Admiral? I think I would stick to casual use, and especially if you're going to be in the outdoors, I think that smokiness you know, by a campfire is going to be right at home. If you're going for a hike, this definitely is going to last you, you know, through, um, through a hike, through a picnic. Um, I'm just, I just keep thinking of the outdoors. And again, even though this was a summer release, I, I definitely think this uh, falls firmly in the fall. In my mind, I think of a log cabin the falling of the leaves kind of just all around uh, the, the grass outside. I don't really think this would be appropriate in, uh, on date night or a formal per se. I would say it falls more on the daring side if you do decide to go um, into a, a small crowded space. I would not wear this in an office setting where your coworkers are in close proximity. People might have 
um, aversion or allergies to fragrances. But all in all, even though it took a little bit of time, uh, I really did find myself enjoying wearing Admiral. All right, so that's my review of Admiral. What do you think? Is this one that you guys have tried? Maybe you've tried just the soap and splash or the actual fragrance. Let me know. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content from Lather Hog. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.